All right, so this video we're going to look at drawing a pie chart. All right, so let's look at the information we have. It says, uh, this is how many hours do we exercise in one day? And these are the results from a survey of 500 people. All right, so for less than half an hour, okay, in a day, 296 of the 500 people exercise. Uh, between half an hour and an hour, 83 exercise. And more than an hour, 121 of the 500 people exercise. All right. So we need, you know, we fill this chart out, we get the number of degrees, and we can draw our pie chart. Okay. So the fractional part, that's, that's easy to get that. So the fractional part is just the total number that exercises less than half an hour over the total number of people that were surveyed. So that would be the 296 divided by 500. And then half an hour to an hour, the 83 people over the total. So 83 over the total of 500. And then exercises more than an hour, the 121 over the total, which is 500. Now to get the percentage. Okay, so the percentage is just for under half an hour, it's just the 296 divided by 500. That gives us the percentage of people that exercise less than half an hour. Okay, so the 296 divided by 500, that gives us, okay, so that gives us 0.592. But remember, you, mold, you move it two places to the right to convert a decimal to a percent, so that's 59.2%. Okay, and then for the half hour to an hour, that's 83 divided by 500, which gives us 0.166. Okay, so we move it twice, two places to the right, so that gives us 16.6%. And then the last one, 121 divided by 500, that gives us 0.242. Move it two places to the right, that's 24.2 percent. All right, now we need to figure out the number of degrees. All right, so to figure out the number of degrees, we we multiply the percentage by 360 and that will give us the number of degrees. So when I multiply the percentage times the number of degrees, I'm going to have the percentage in decimal. So that would be 0.592 times 360 degrees. 0 0.592 times 360. Okay, so that gives me 213.12. But I'm going to just go ahead and round this to the nearest degree. Okay, you don't have to when you're doing it, but I'm going to I'm going to do it for this video. Okay? So that's 213 degrees. And then for the next one, I'm going to multiply 16.6%. So I'm going to convert it to decimal times the 360 degrees. So 0.166 times 360. That gives me 59.76. And I'm going to go ahead and round that up to 60 degrees. And then for the last one, 24.2, so 0.242 times the 360 degrees, so 0.242 times 360, that gives me 87.12, so I'm going to call that 87 degrees. Alright, so now we have our degrees, now we're ready to draw our pie chart. So we need a circle, and I've already had one done here, so let's move, let me move it over here. All right, so first thing, I'm just going to draw me a line from the center out to the circle. So, I, so I'll have a starting point, okay? So 
let's look at this so from the center and I'm gonna just draw it straight across okay I think that's close enough alright so now what we need to do is draw another line rotated 213 degrees well if I and I know if I go from here to here that's 180 and then if I go to here that's 270 and we know 225 is right in between them about right here so 213 would be back this way more it'd be closer to 180 than 270 so we'll say it's about right in here okay and so that's our 213 degrees and we could go ahead and we could label this uh, this is for less than half an hour and that is 59.2 percent okay all right so now we need a line for 60 degrees okay well it might be kind of hard measuring 60 degrees from this line here I could I could measure the 87 degrees from this line because I know it's just before 90 degrees okay and I know 90 degrees is straight down but if I come over this way just a little bit come over this way just a little bit that's going to give me my line right there okay and so we'll call this our 87 degrees so that is greater than half an hour greater than half an hour and that is 24.2 percent of the people okay and you know you can draw these better if you have like a protractor or something you can use that to make it more accurate I mean you're gonna get close with you know trying to eyeball it but it's, I think as long as you label everything you should be good oh and this is not degrees that's percent Okay. and then we have the 60 degrees so for that one well that's half to one so that's a half hour to one hour okay I'm just gonna write that in there because I don't have enough room to write the whole thing you could write it out here and they just kinda arrow into the to that piece of the circle and that is sixteen point six percent okay and that would be your pie chart Okay. and you know if you had different color pencils or something you could shade each section a different color or you know something like that make it look nice but you know for the video I just wanted to show you how to, to calculate the numbers and everything basically alright so I hope this helped uh, give me a like subscribe check out my other videos and thanks for watching